Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. We're going to work on double plays today, okay? So uh, we're going to start off with underhand feeds on double plays. Can you toss me a ball, Kalen? We're going to work on underhand feeds on a double play. So we underhand feed it as either the second baseman or the shortstop if the ball is hit at us or towards the bag. Does that make sense? So if I'm a shortstop in double play depth and the ball's hit right at me, I should be able to field the ball and underhand flip it. If it's hit to my left, I should really be able to field it and underhand flip it. Everyone got it? If I'm a second baseman, at me, underhand flip, or to my right, towards the bag, underhand flip. Everyone got that so far? Cool. Okay. So that's what we're going to work on today. You also need to know how to underhand flip if you're a first baseman. Because if you field the ball and I can't get there and tag it myself, I'm going to have the pitcher running over that I can underhand flip it. Let's talk about how to do it. All right. I'll show you from shortstop and then everything I say from shortstop, when you go to second, it's just the exact opposite. Okay. So when the ball's hit, I've got to get to the right of the ball as a shortstop, just like we always do. So I can field the ball with momentum going towards the second baseman to flip it. Everyone got that? Okay. When I field the ball, I want my toe pointed right where I'm going to flip it. So if I'm going to flip it to Kalen, Kalen, stand right there. If I'm going to flip it to him, I field it, I put my toe right towards him. Now, when I field the ball, here's the one difference. I don't bring it up to my middle like I do when I normally field. I just catch it and I take it out of my glove like that. Everyone got it? I field it, I take it out of my glove, I flip the ball by driving off of this foot. So I flip it and then I follow it. Everyone got that? Those are the keys. So watch, I'm gonna flip it to you. I get down, point my toe, I catch it and take it out, I drive off of my back leg, I flip the ball and then I follow it, okay? Everyone's hand should be up high like, I'm, like you're gonna reach out and shake hands with your partner. Got it? Does that make sense? Okay. If I'm second baseman, it's the exact opposite. I just put my right foot, I drive off my outside foot, I flip it, and then I follow it, hand high. Cool? Is that easy enough for the beginning? Okay. So we're going to do a couple different drills today to work on that. Let's talk real quick about how you catch the ball if you're the middle infielder. If I'm the second baseman and the bag is right here and Kalen's going to flip me the ball, ready? And I've got to catch the ball, go over there a little bit. If he's going to flip it to me and I'm going to throw it that way, everyone watch. If I'm the second baseman, which foot do I put on the bag? Anyone know? Left foot. I put my left foot on the bag and I take my right foot to the ball. So if he flips it there, I can take it there. If he flips it here, I take it there. Flip one out here. If he flips it in here, I take my right foot there. Everyone see that? So that's what we're going to work on today too. Left foot on the bag, right foot to the ball wherever it goes. All right. If I'm the shortstop, it's the exact opposite. Here, Kalen. Now he's the second baseman. I'm the shortstop. Which foot do I put on the bag if it's the opposite foot? Right. right foot. Now he flips it. I take my left foot to the ball. Now I catch it and I do my normal footwork. Right to left, left to target, and I throw it. Everyone got that? All right. That's what we're working on today. Cool. Make sure when you get the ball, don't try to go quick because you got to turn a double play. Just get one out. Let the other guy turn a double play. Sound good? No questions with that? We're going to put a box. All right. So we've done this last year. We've got the box. There's going to be one guy at each spot on the box. Everyone else will be in a line behind them. Okay. The ball starts. Whoever starts with the ball will go left first. So I get in position. I point my toe. I take it out. I flip it and I follow it. Whoever's standing on this side of the box, you're going to take your right foot to the ball, catch it. Then you're going to put the ball down like this. You're going to turn your foot. You're going to take it out. You're going to flip it. You're going to follow it. That guy's going to be the second baseman. Then he goes down, and we just keep going around the box. Everyone get that? When you flip it, go to the next cone and get in line. Okay? Don't go back to the cone you flipped it from. Make sense to everybody? We'll go all the way around. We'll just keep going. Make sure when you catch the ball, don't catch it and flip it from here. Catch the ball. Put it down. Turn your foot. Go. Got it? All right. We'll go one way. Then we'll go the other way. Then we'll go into rolled ground balls. Cool? All right. So let's go, uh, let's go do that right now. 
So let's focus here. Two minutes, all your focus. Okay, so I know everyone's been away, right? You guys probably aren't in school over break and no one's had practice or anything, but in my opinion, that was the worst practice, at least in my groups, that was the worst practice we've had so far. All right, so I thought way too many guys from the get-go had no, uh, too many guys had no real interest, it felt like, in paying attention or trying hard or anything, all right? So who showed up today and said, I'm just gonna kind of come and just go through the motions and not really watch coach because it happened too many times, all right? So everyone's gotta get focused back in um, because I know when I came today, I said, I'm gonna try to be the best coach I can be. So if you're a player and you just came and said, well, I think I'm just gonna walk around and just kind of hang out, you should come and say, I'm gonna do the best job I can do today, all right? You got one hour infield and that's not counting when you're warming up and all that. You probably only have about 40 minutes of infield. Okay, so we gotta do a better job. Overall, I thought breaking it down, 11 year olds, for the most part, have no idea how to turn a double play. That's okay, you're only 11. But w if you don't know how to turn a double play and we're working on double plays, what, you, what should you be doing? Attention. Paying attention. Yeah, I even said it one time, I said, everybody eyes on me so you can see what I'm doing. And as I'm going through, I looked and like three guys are off staring off into the, uh, I don't know what's over there. You have no idea what I did. So that's why when you go, I got to say a hundred times, cross over with your right foot. Cross over with your right foot. Everyone got that? Okay. Now there's a couple guys, when I told you what you did wrong, you know what your response was? No, I didn't. And I said, yes, you did. I'm watching you, right? So if I, here's the uh, thing to remember. If I tell you you did something wrong, how positive do you think, how, how positive do you think I am that you did something wrong? hundred percent. Yep. If we put on video, I know you did it wrong. Because guess what? I'm watching you. You can't see what you're doing. And guess what else? I've watched people feel ground balls a hundred million times, right? So I know what it's supposed to look like. So if I tell you, I don't want to argue with you. I'm telling you why. Why am I telling you? To help you. To help you. Yes. Yeah. I want to help you, right? I'm not telling you so I can just talk to you. I'll talk later to you, right? So if I tell you it's because you're doing it wrong and I need you to do it right, why? Do you get better? Yeah, so you go in the game and you can do it right. Does anyone like when a ball's hit to them and they miss the ball because they didn't play it properly and then you feel crappy? That's not fun, right? So I'm trying to help you. So listen, but we got to do a better job of that because I just, I thought overall, I thought the double play stuff, again, I don't expect everyone to know it right away, but it wasn't great. And again, if you are young and you're like, I don't really, I've never done this stuff before. I get it. Like, I'm going to say it to you a bunch of times, but you got to show me you're trying. And who should you watch when you're not going? Other people. Yes. I'm looking at guys in line. You're not watching. If I'm in line, I'm watching the best players go and I'm watching what I say. So if Julius does something, he does something wrong and I, I yell out, hey, cross over your right foot. You should have learned that from watching him. Don't wait to go and then you get yelled at for not crossing over your right foot. Okay? All right. And watch the other good players. When Takumi's going, I better be watching him because I want to see how he does it. That's what helps me. Okay? Cool. All right. That's my big message for the day. All right? But we got to get a little bit better with practice. All right. Pay attention. So we've got the box. Let's say Harry starts with the ball. I'm going to pretend I'm Harry for a second. We're going to start by being the shortstop, so we're all flipping left. So I get down in position to feel the ball. I turn my left foot towards my target. I take it out, I drive. I flip it and I follow it, and then I go to the end of the line. Once you catch the ball, now you go down. So now you'll be down in position. You do the same thing. You flip it and you follow it. You catch it, you put it down. The key is make sure that you put the ball down. Don't do this. This is what some guys do. They catch it and then they go from here. I got to get down like this and go from there, okay? We'll go left a bunch, then we'll go right. We'll flip it up, we'll go this way, okay? Then after we do that, we're going to do this drill. On this one, I roll the ball across. So I roll it to AJ, you're going to field it and flip it to your left, okay? When I roll it, I don't go anywhere. You only go somewhere if you flip it and follow, ready? So flip it and follow and get to the end of the line. Just hold it when you catch it. I roll it. He fields it, he flips it, he follows it. Now hold on, Harry catches it. Now Harry rolls it across. I know there's no one there, but flip it and follow it. Harry, you screwed up, go back. Remember I just said if you roll it, you don't go anywhere. Jake would field it, flip it and follow it. 
The next guy would roll it to me. Now it's my turn. I flip it and follow. I never follow it on a roll, just on a flip. If you follow it on a roll, you might never get a chance to flip it. Everyone got it? All right, I already talked to one group, but let's make sure. We'll talk about this before we start practice. The last group that just went, they were still on vacation in their minds. When they showed up, they had no interest in practicing. They just wanted to hang out and chat and have a good time, and it was, a bad, it was bad practice. I got very mad, all right? So I'm starting off in a bad mood. I'm going to try to cheer up, so please help me, all right? So I want a lot of energy. You've got 40 more minutes to go through it, okay? When, the, when it's over, you guys can go and talk about all the cool stuff you got over the holidays. Sound good? Okay. Now, let's go. You guys go down there. You guys get into four groups. Down low, cross over hard. Feel the ball first, cross over, flip it. Good. If, if you're going to miss, miss high. Keep it up above his waist. Good flip right there. That away. Good. Joe, take it out quicker. You like crossed over, but then you didn't want to flip it for a second. Like, boom, take it right out and flip it. Too big a wind up, shorter. Take it out, flip. It should feel like you flip it and then follow it. Don't cross over and then try to flip it. Flip it, follow it. Pretty good. That a white. Pretty good, lefty. Okay, hold it, everybody. Hold it. Okay, good job. Now let's go the other way. All right, so we just flip to our right. Open your right foot up a little bit. Make sure we don't take it all the way around. Try to just take it out and flip it from right there, okay? Here we go, let's do it. Go. Good, yep, get it up a little bit. Good flip, Nate. Good, AJ. Yeah, get down lower. How's your back? Get your back brace on. Get down a little lower, get that back flatter. Uh-huh. Yeah, Marco, don't take it all the way around. Keep it inside, inside. Good, just don't shuffle. You like to shuffle and then go. Go. Yeah, just make sure you're working on this too. We'll do that next week. Go. Out of way, good. Good. Flip it, follow it. Flip it, follow it. Good. Three hard steps. Finish high. Shake your partner's hand. Stay down there low. Get down there. Yep. Finish high. Hand high. Shake hands with them. Up high. Stay down there. Okay, everybody hold it. Now, let's make the box a little bit. Uh, you guys have a pretty big box. You guys can make yours a little bit bigger. Just a little, not too much bigger. Okay, this is where we're gonna go. You're gonna roll it across now. Everybody's gonna flip to their left, okay? One thing, if Joe ro rolls it across, Jason, flip it to me. Go ahead, roll it across, flip it to me. I'm going left foot on the bag. He's flipping it. I'm taking right foot to the ball and I'm doing that. Then I'm rolling it. Everyone got it? So turn yourself in right now, turn yourself into a second baseman. Left foot on the bag, right foot to the ball, transfer, then roll it across, okay? Remember, you do, not, you do not go anywhere if you roll it. It's only when you flip it that you go someplace. You flip it and you follow. Okay, who wants to go first over here? You got a ball, take that ball right there. Who's going first here? All right, so you're rolling it across and you're staying right here. You're flipping it to your left, you're catching it as a double plate turn as second baseman, you're rolling it across. Stay there, Jake. I know, I'm just yelling just to, just to yell at you. Flip it and follow. You roll it across, right across. Yep, don't shuffle, just field it. Crossover, good, nice, flip it this way. Yep, make sure we're using our feet now. Get around it. Make sure we're getting to the right of the ball. Get to the right of the ball so you can get momentum going to your left. Right of the ball, nice, Jake. Good. Get to the right of the ball so you can feel it over your left eye. Good, nice. Get to the right, good job, follow it, good. Get to the right, flip it and follow it. 
Yep. Don't forget, if you're catching the ball, you're an infield, you're a second baseman. Turn the double play. Don't just catch it. Yeah. Oh, hey, left eye. You're catching it too far here. Get over there quicker so you can keep your left eye. Yeah. Yeah, you just brought it, everything back. Take it out, flip it. Yeah, put a little pace on that ground ball. There you go. Pretty good. Time that left foot up a little better, Marco. You catch it, your left foot should be landing. Flip it. Crossover. If you're going to miss, miss up high. Okay, hold it. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to flip it to our right instead of our left. Nothing else changes. You roll it across. Now you're a second baseman. You've got to get to the left of the ball so you can go to your right. If, you're, if you are catching the ball from a flip, you are now a shortstop, okay? Right foot on the bag, left foot to the ball. Got it? So the flipper's a second baseman. The catcher is a shortstop. Good? All right, so flip it to your right. Yep, get to the left of the ball so you can flip it right. Get to the left so you can flip it right. Yep, hold on, let's see here. You're rolling. Hold on one sec. Watch me real quick. Watch my footwork. Yeah, roll, roll it down. Sure, I took my left foot, left foot, then set up. There you go. Yeah. Hey, lighter on your feet. Like this, watch. He rolled it, you went. I want you to go like this. Oh. Like twinkle toes. Yeah. Yeah. They were, in, they were in cement. He's trying to be a PO. Yeah, open that glove up. Show the glove to the ball. Yep, firm that feet up. Get it there. Nice, just firmer. And Gus forgot to do footwork. So I might not have noticed it until you went, ah! Oh! <laughs> okay, hold it up real quick. Hold it up. Everyone watch me for a second, Jimmy. That's it. So there's one other way you can make this flip as a second baseman. Instead of doing this, you can turn your thumb under. So I call it a power feed. You turn your thumb under and flip it that way. This is a good one for usually if the ball's hit in the, in, in the line. So like you have to run up here in a game and second base ends up being back there. Sometimes it's easier to just do that. So let's practice that one for a minute, okay? So same thing, set up here like this. You're gonna just turn your thumb this way and flip it. All right, so your thumb goes under as you flip it out. Still follow your toss. Some guys that have never done this one before, it's gonna feel a little awkward. It's pretty good. Not bad, finish up high. Finish your hand up near his face, you'll flip it higher. Finish up near his face. Thumb under, finish high. Pretty good toss. Very good. Thumb under, finish high. Oh, bare hand. Who needs a glove? Not bad. Good. Finish high. On hard. Yep, be loud. Yeah, like that. There you go. Yeah, louder. Get it, nice play. Yep, be nice and loud. We should be able to hear you easy down here. Good, way to be loud. Run. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.